My name is Dr. David Schwartz. I've been with the program actually since September, and I've lost uh, 62 pounds. Mm -hmm. But the thing to me that's the most amazing is the quality of people. I have met Dr. Anderson at a previous uh, session, and uh, I like the honesty and integrity of everyone. Um, I've been a physician for over 40 years. I love what I do. I'm very enthused by medicine. I think it's a wonderful thing that makes people, you know, their lives do get better. But I was taught nothing but how to treat disease in medical school. And throughout my career, and I'm, you know, triple boarded and all that, uh, that's really been the emphasis. And I do save people's lives. But unfortunately, I, like Dr. Anderson, have found that when you save someone's life at the end of their life or when they're very unhealthy, they may survive, but they still maintain a relatively poor health, health and, and they don't have real good longevity. So this was like a, an amazing eye-opener for me, and I uh, actually decided to go on the program after three visits from Gail and her friends, uh, because the first two I just took literature and really didn't pay attention to it, and then finally we sat down for like 15 or 20 minutes, and I really considered it and said, you know, I think I'll do this. I thought I was pretty healthy. I weighed 268 pounds, but I exercised all the time. I weighed, lifted weights. I've always been an athlete. I used to run marathons. But I knew that there was something not right about that. And, you know, it's not very good for a physician to not have the credibility of at least appearing to be really healthy. I think I look much better today than I did back then. Uh, and the thing that to me that's really been fascinating is I became a, a health coach uh, at the end of January, about a month ago. And in the first month, I was able to put um, uh, 34 people in my um, group of clients. And they were all patients. Yeah. I, will, I will allow that to Gail and my uh, folks with her uh, that have helped me. Because it is a team effort. I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to try that alone. But it's also that I could start the conversation with people with, you know, I am the elephant in the room because I started out with 60 pounds on me that I have now lost. And they'd, of course, notice how different I look. And I, I even had people saying I look 45 years old instead of 67 like I am. And I said, well, gee, with compliments like that and with feeling so good, I've got to do something with this. It's like a gift that I want to give away. So to pay it forward and the money, of course, is important. You know, And I think medicine is, uh, unfortunately, not, not going down the right path now with people being offered you know, lap bands and, and you know, gastric <laughs> surgery to kind of bypass the problem and really not cure it and treat it. And all the things we see in our society today, I, I think the most important thing is to have people who have a passion for something that is healthy, that is going to be a trend that can't go away. We've got to get this country back on the track of being as healthy as possible and not being like it is now. One of the things I notice all the time, I go out all the time, I see new people, and most people are overweight. In fact, my problem list as I see a patient is overweight 95% of the time, which is incredible. I mean, it's like it's so epidemic. And so I am so grateful for the opportunity to use my background as a way of being able to articulate this, because I think I've had that one really good um, training is how to speak to people, how to be passionate, how to be compassionate so they feel like you really care about them. And so I, when I call them up to check on their weight, they're always really happy to be on the phone with me. I always say, God, I hope I'm not interrupting something or, you know, calling too late. But they never say that. They say, oh, I'm so glad you're talking to me, doctor. Mm -hmm. So whatever I can do to impart that to my friends here, you know, what, whatever I can you know, offer that makes it more easy to understand why this is so important. Oh, one other thing. I just got my own cholesterol back, and I'm not... Uh, person who has heart disease in the family, but my cholesterol went down to 114. It's always been around 180, which isn't terrible. 114 is a lot better. And my good cholesterol has never been above 40, and now it's 56, just from being on this plane. Yeah.